Meanwhile, a nine-year-old boy in the West Metro has died days after he was found unresponsive in a pool. Uh, Daniel Peso was at a birthday pool party at a friend's home Sunday when he was found unconscious in the shallow end. After tests Monday and Tuesday showed no brain activity, his parents made the difficult decision to say goodbye. WCCS Jennifer Mayerly reports on how the community is supporting the family. Mini Washta Elementary School in Excelsior is surrounded by green, Daniel Peso's favorite color. His second grade teacher said the nine year old was responsible, caring, and a great friend. He enjoyed coding, creative writing, and playing Minecraft. And she said he was a great big brother to younger sister Shedra. Thank you guys. Friends of the family say they felt helpless and wanted to do something to help the Pesos. I mean, it isn't just a lemonade stand. We're doing this for a really good cause. With each pour, the realness sets in, trying to understand at such a tender age how life can seem so unfair. When people think of Daniel, they all have smiles on their faces. School counselor Adam Jorgensen said he's here to listen and to help. You be real, you be honest, you be yourself, and you encourage um, other people that are you know, hurting uh, to express their feelings and be real as well. The community says they'll continue to lift the family up as they all learn what life is like without Daniel. And we just love them and we are thinking about them and we're here for them after this. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Daniel's mom is a volunteer at the elementary school. His dad, a teacher at Minnetonka High School. His family did decide to donate his organs, and a fund has been set up to help the pesos with medical costs. We have a link to that on WCCO.com.